British diplomacy appears to be in play to resolve the conflict in La Sanod. The new UK ambassador to Somalia, Maith Nikavrianakis, met with Somaliland leader Muse Behe in Hargeisa Wednesday. The situation in Sul, Sanag, and Ain was at the top of the agenda. At the end of the meeting, the government in Hargeisa issued a statement stating their commitment to resolving the conflict. President Behe was quoted as reiterating his administration's steadfast dedication to achieving a ceasefire. This flies in the face of the Somaliland President's May 18th Independence Address. There he indicated that continued fighting was expected while accusing Puntland of trying to cut Somaliland in half. This has led to combatic rhetoric from clan leaders in the disputed region. Garad Jama Garad Ali, the leading traditional clan chief of the Sul, Sanag, and Ain regions, accused Bihi of refusing a meeting with traditional elders from Mogadishu. He added that he was advocating instead for further military engagement. In an interview with Galen Media, the clan chief said that Bihi had invited the elders to his hometown, but refused a meeting while they were in Hargeisa. The Somaliland leader also spoke to the British diplomat about his state's elections. They have been delayed almost six months already and are not due to take place until next year. Behe informed the ambassador that election preparations were underway, including the printing and distribution of voter cards. We look forward to working alongside these important organizations. While there was no official statement from London or the embassy in Mogadishu, one can only hope that the ambassador left Targesa with a stern warning. That engagement will only continue with peaceful behavior in the disputed territory and a return to genuine democratic practices. ADN TV will continue to report on diplomatic developments across Africa.